Hey, Steve here with RV to Cycle. Shimano's come out with a new version of E2 Project. Here's the old one, 3.4.5, and here's the newest one, 4.04. Since its introduction in September of last year, they've already upgraded it from 4.00 to 4.04. .04. Hang with us, if this interests you, you might find the new one is much improved. Maybe not. Stay tuned. At this address, you'll be able to download either 4.04 or 3.45 versions of eTube Project. Let's download 4.04. Here we go. You download eTube Project, you're going to get a zipped file. So the first thing you need to do after the download is open and extract all the data. In full transparency, you need to know I am speeding up on the video a number of the steps that you must go through to get this program downloaded to your computer. So just because it's gonna take me X number of minutes, you need to know it's gonna take you X plus unless you have a hyper fast computer. As another reference point, the laptop I use for this project has Windows 10 as its operating system. Now that it's downloaded, let's open it up and see what it looks like. There is a little bit more admin stuff you have to do, so you gotta scroll through this all the way to the bottom before you can agree to accept the terms. Once you click agree, now you're gonna get to see what it looks like. Here, connect to the bike and click next. So there's a couple of things you can use to, to connect. You can use your battery charger, which is this on the right-hand side, the SMBCR2. Or if you want to spend like $150, you can get the more comprehensive SMPCE1, which does allow you to do some maintenance things you can't do with your battery charger. When you take your bike to the shop, they use the non-charger version, $150 thing. Now, that's why it costs you money when they do programming on your bike. Okay, this is it. It's uh, much prettier than the 3.0. 4.5, you still get to do the same types of things. It just has a different look and a feel to it. So you have tabs across the top. This is where you're gonna customize. You customize the shifters. You can also, on this same page, customize whether you're in synchro, semi-synchro, or manual shift. And then you can also customize some of the things relative to the shifting, whether it's gonna be multiple or single shift how fast it goes. So we're just gonna flip through some of these screens to let you have a nice look. And then here's the maintenance tab. You must have the SMPCE1 to be able to do anything on this tab. Then there's the help tab, which you can use even if you're not plugged in. Now to update the software, here's a tab for that. And you can see everything's updated. You can actually overwrite and update again, but no, we're not gonna do that. The last thing you do when you finish is click that disconnect button. If you don't and you just unplug, your system will go wacko. You'll regret it. Here's the 3.4.5. So this is the old, the original version of E2 Project. It still works. You can still download it. And if you like this one better, go for it. I've done a separate video on 3.4.5 E2 Project and I'll provide you a link where you can find that information. So rather than go through it all again here, I'll refer you back to that one. It's much more comprehensive and just take you through some of the screens here so you can see and compare the old version versus the new one. Personally, 
I like the new one. I think the graphics are much better and you have everything there on one screen, at least everything that I use is all on one screen. I don't use the maintenance tab, never have, but I do like to check to make sure that I have the latest version of this firmware. And the way it is right now, with 3.4.5, you can see you have to click a number of different things. You've got to go through a number of different screens to get to where you want to be versus the other one's just much nicer. <laughs> That's the bottom line. That's the one I'm going to be using. So hope you found this video useful. If you did, give us a thumbs up. The more thumbs up or likes a video gets, the higher it moves in the YouTube search engine and the easier it is for other people to find it. So again, thanks for watching. Appreciate your support. Look forward to seeing you again next week.